What's up, guys? Yo, it's warm today in a winter time. Um, it is warm. On my other video, you guys can see I was sweating. Anyway, um, I've been eagerly waiting to make this video, a review video. Um, we've been making videos with repairs, whatever. Uh, today I have two products. Product number one. Um, it's called a solder paste. paste. Solder paste. Um, I don't know. Should I make an in-depth video on that? Maybe. And I have a USB power meter. USB-C power meter. Uh, I think you guys know that I've been using this other power meter. Let me show you guys. One. Okay. Now, this is my old one. Right? When I was buying this one, uh, I also was thinking to buy this. But money wasn't enough. Um, but finally I bought one of this as I'm having now a device, especially laptops that are coming with USB-C charging port. So basically I cannot see if the laptop is taking any current or anything is pulling from the charger because I, I don't have a power supply or a modified cable from the power supply which I can use on a laptop which has only USB-C charging port. So basically I'm blind. I, I, I can't see what what is going on with the current. Okay. Now I have a device. This will tell me whether the laptop is taking any current from the uh, adapter or the charger or not. I can also check with this one if the laptop is charging the battery. Some laptop they comes on uh, but uh, they have a problem on the charging circuit and then some weirdly some laptop will show you on the windows that laptop is charging but this device will allow me to see is it really charging? You see? So let's open and see how this this um, devices works and this soldering things also works. I will make a small quick demonstration with this one. Um, it say 183 degrees centigrade means it, it this soldering paste will melt. On low temperature we will also check that one uh, give me a moment okay where was I all right let's put this one as one side right this device um, it's about four years old it's still functional okay one of that I think one of the digit does half of the number doesn't show but I can still see how many ampere or milliampere uh, any phone is taking now <clears throat> on this device this is only for up to 5 volt okay it's only up to 5 volt um, <clears throat> you can use it for cell phones tablets all those handheld device that takes 5 volt charge or can charge for 5 volt and um, now this one according to the spec sheet according to um, take a lot what they said this one will take up to 30 volt can measure up to 30 volt let me show you guys um, okay let's go to the website and see what does they say okay they 
it is you guys can see um, should I make it bigger I paid 170 rand for this device okay as you guys can see and it has a four star rating and everyone that I checked on the review they did a comment not so bad so I ordered it last week uh, sorry early this week and I received it within four days time three days time thank you take a lot for that um, we are going to test this device and see if this thing works okay here is the spec sheet uh, it's a voltage measuring instrument for voltage that it can measure 4 volt to 30 volt okay 4 to 30 volt current is 0 to uh, 5.1 amp max total power that it can go max power is 155 watt and only some of the high-end gaming uh, laptops will exceed that 155 watt max power while you are gaming so I don't think this device will um, a problem to check any normal laptops or most of the laptops that's what I understand now Windows capture on now let's pl plug it in with a USB I did plug it in and then there is nothing in or not. we can't see anything so what happens on this device it will only come on when we connect the device okay my own my 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 phone it's i'm using as my overhead cam so i brought my wife's phone let's have a look how does it work okay one thing about this type of meter this one i see when i plug it in look i'm using um samsung original super fast charger this is a samsung original super fast charger where the head so when you plug it in have a look this device support the super fast charging i think they call it qc charger 3 or uh, yes qc3 charging uh thing look you guys can't see super first charging you can't see let me try to focus okay it's better now okay have a look guys super first charging 84 percent one minute to until it gets full so if you look at it now this phone is charging at 9.0689 volt um, at 10.047 watt say 10 watt it's, it's pulling 10 watt or it's charging at 10 watt and uh, the amperage went down just now because the phone is full charging pause because to protect the battery anyway this phone is let me take that option out you can charge further protect battery. okay let's have a look now it's taking 9.3 say plus minus 9 volts and pulling one point one amp okay so so far um there's nothing wrong with this on normal phone and stuff 
when we charging the phones it, it can charge up to 9 volt or it can show me the the what do you call it? measurement for 9 volt device now the question that i have in my head is will those things um, work with the laptop so i am going to find i do have a laptop here that i need to repair so i'm not going to include the 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 laptop section if this can work with the laptop charger okay because if i i do have a usb-c laptop charger if i plug it in the screen stays blank um <clears throat> so unfortunately i can't show you guys if this thing works properly with a laptop but when i fix that laptop or when i work on that laptop it's a lenovo laptop i have e5490 i think when i work on that i will use this machine and then on that video you guys will see if this thing is working with the laptops because according to the spec as you see here it should work the laptop goes maximum um maximum it goes maximum Twenty volt charging. Most laptops uses nineteen or twenty volt. Very little laptop I saw that uh, uses more than twenty volt. So this device should work with any laptops, cause uh, most laptop with um, USB C port char uh, USB C charging port they normally char uh, charger or charges the laptop or operates the laptop on 19 or 20 volt okay that's uh, you will see on my next video or on my other video right i'm happy that i bought this um uh, meter but i still feel sad that i couldn't afford um let me show you guys i wanted i still want a device like this okay this is the 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 power meter that i really badly want to buy it. but look at the price it's 1490 rand and this one um this one cost me 170 rand uh this and that 1490 rand Um, you can compare you can let me let me show you on the browser Let me show you rather in the browser They basically do the same work 179 I paid sorry anyway but now it's on special 470 then this and this this is a, a more <coughs> it has more um, features on it the features are fast charging auto uh, auto test bilateral current detection data can be measured separately by usb plug and mobile phones power of storage store capacity and energy data in case of accidental cut of power type c input and output usb input and output micro input pd switch okay the protocols that this finirsi finirsi fnb 58 this machine supports the protocol pd 2.0 pd 3.0 hold on guys some okay um yeah i'm very happy now because i have something uh what i was saying oh you see automatic protects protocol detection it supports pd2 pd3 pps qc2 qc3 fcp scp f f a f c p e dash walk mar but in south africa we normally no 
or we use our charges and stuff that we get here they are coming with pd2 pd3 qc2 qc3 those are common um <coughs> protocols on the charges so this one only has it doesn't even say uh, what does it support okay that's the, that's the thing so i don't know if this is gonna uh, work with the laptop that comes with the uh, fast charging or you you understand but anyway we will see in in future video uh, if this thing works i will let you guys know and there comes this this is something i never thought to use but when I see the price, have a look. The price was not so expensive or not so cheap in between. Um, I paid one fifty for it. So yeah, it's something that if I have good, if I don't have no problem, I can use a normal soldering wires that also works for me as you see um demonstration i don't know should i do let's do a demonstration where can i do hold on let me look for a board where i can use this okay i do have a board let me put my hot air station um temperature let me put the temperature on let's see 200 degrees okay or 190 let's see if it melts on that temperature because it say 183 if i'm not wrong 183 centigrade okay let's try it out guys but don't pack it big up But how does this thing stay there? Can it stay there? Okay, anyway, guys, let's hope oh, doesn't jump out. You know, guys, I have this MTEC flux that's in the tube. This it doesn't it comes with the sponges and this um, mechanic uh, what you call soldering mask also doesn't come with a punter the first things I get that comes with the punter is the soldering things let's have a look It's um, doesn't say how many milligram. Ten cc. Yep. Understand. This is not working. Why? Okay, there it is working, guys. First, let me use the hot air with one one ninety degree. I don't think. It spreads out, but it doesn't melt.
ओके वन नाइन्टी डिग्री शुड मेल्ट नथिंग हैपेंस सीरियसली लेट्स मेक इट Nothing happens. Make it two twenty. Nothing happens. Let's uh, take it up to three hundred. Okay. I've been holding for a while now. If we take it to three fifty, let's see. Should we use more new ones? It should liquefy on low temperature, but I I am now on four hundred degree. Yeah. There you go. You guys can see in the camera it is liquefying become solder okay that is the experience with hot air station now what about how about the soldering iron Definitely hot air station is not working with a uh, low temperature for this uh, product that I can say as it say it say 183 degree centigrade okay let's move on to the next one i'm going to use my soldering pen without flux okay let's see if it melts let me lower the temperature to we try first 190 then from there we go up and down okay
temperature is, is coming down as you can see we are at 190 let's try Should we bring the microscope? I think I should use the microscope. Guys, hold on. This is on 190. I can't show you guys on that. Okay, 190. We try with 190. Nothing happened. But on my tip, it's melting. You can see. So it means it will melt probably 190, but then we have to hold it, hold the solder very long time. Um, if we increase from 190 to, let's make it to 30, and then see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's now at 230. Then we try again. Okay, it is melting, um, but not so effectively on 230. Let's try a bit more. Right, just a little bit. Let's put the temperature to 260. Okay, we wait for it to go get into 260. Quick. Right. It is clean. Let's have a look. Melting, but not what I expected. Um, if we put it on 300, let's put it on 300. Okay, now you guys can see, you can walk with this. Um, 300 should be, I feel it should be the lowest, the 300 degree. From there, we can still 300 is also not so nice, but it, you can walk with it. If we put it to three thirty, let's see how it works on three forty a fifty.
workable. Yes, you can work with 350 easily. Uh, remember, we don't have flux on the board. So that can be also one reason why this is not melting nicely. But I don't know if this uh, soldering paste comes with flux inside. Okay, 300 to 350 is working temperature, comfortable temperature, which you can use to work with it. Right, um, not so good, not so bad, it's okay. And I did order um, some USB-C port plus some um, PD controller chip for a laptop that I have here for past one month I think um, so I will make a video with there is a 183 or low temperature soldering wire I ordered from Aliexpress I also want to when I receive it I also want to make a video with that let's see compared to my normal soldering wire how does it works okay so guys this is the this was a small um review for this two products this and that i still have to see what this machine can do okay so i will end this video uh, I hope it's not a very long, it is a very long, nearly over 25 minutes uh, video. But anyway, thanks for watching and um, like and subscribe my channel. Please do share my channel's uh, info to your friends and family as I only have very little subscriber. I want that subscriber to increase. So guys, take care. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video, okay?